the figures I quoted right now are of March 31st, 2007. These are figures given in Parliament by Law and Justice Minister H.R. Bhardwaj in a written reply of the Parliament Standing Committee that there are 1,300 criminal cases pending against sitting MPs and MLAs in various courts. This is a fact. It's not conjured up. Nalini Singh, uh, inclusive politics. If Mayawati, the whole, this, this may be justified by somebody saying, oh, this is, a, you know, you give a caste angle to everything. You give a caste angle to a, what is a pure murder. Don't you, don't you think that's, that's the way likely this case is going to go and if 5 lakh rupees is all we'll know as compensation, that this man will get away tomorrow? <laughs> Arnab, I mean, this is absolutely amazing that we should, uh, let's not just call it uh, caste politics, of course it is, but it is socially sanctioned loot. You can loot. This uh, Shekhar Tiwari came to Manoj Gupta for 25 lakh rupees. Today we will give Manoj Gupta's family 5 lakh rupees. Now these are the terms of trade of politics. But you know, before we go further into this case, let me throw a, shall I call it a political bomb here? Delhi's worst kept secret. What is it? That chief ministers pay the centers of power on, in their parties targets that are set for them for monthly collections. Now, this is, this is something that people who, who are in Delhi politics or in politics in India know, but they will not talk about it. Tickets are sold, but just think of this. Those who are the chieftains of their own parties possibly get these collections for themselves. Nalini but Singh, Nalini Singh. the parties that are the bigger parties, their chief ministers do pay to the centers of power in their in their own parties and this is something which needs to be investigated now. Now Nalini Singh, the, important. You the, the minor point is that yeah. Margaret Alva said that uh, tickets are being sold in Karnataka. There were murmurs of tickets being sold in Rajasthan. Now, if we are getting chief ministers who are collecting for certain targets that are set for right. them, the party bosses who are collecting money that is set for tickets that are being bought, what are we expecting? Uh, Shekhar Tiwari will collect 25 lakhs for birthday celebrations. This collection, this loot is sa socially sanctioned. Right. I, I really do think that we've got to look at why we turn away. Do right. you know that Shekhar Tiwari chose the, a higher profile victim today? 18 hours ago, uh, Manoj Gupta said, no, I will not pay you. But estimates are that one crore Indians pay, they grovel, they bribe, they submit, they succumb, they pay. And that is how we get by every day. Well, and Manoj Gupta said no, so he lost his life. Well, we should not we forget. Not lost ours. We should, we've bribed too. We should not forget. We should not forget these cases. We should not forget 31-year-old IIT engineer Satyendra Dubey who exposed the contract mafia and was a w honest whistleblower and had to pay for it uh, with his life. Amar Singh now joins the debate right now. Mr. Amar Singh, 6.30 p.m. immediately after this news story came out around 11 o'clock this morning here on Times Now and other news channels. You had a press conference with Mulayam Singh Yadav. Wasn't this a direct and pure attempt at getting political mileage out of a tragedy? I will not, uh, I will be very candid with you Arnab. Uh, there was a strange incidents of political misuse. I will not uh, deny that totally because in a mass party, which is in a big party, it does happen. But it was not sponsored by leadership. And as and when we came to know about such abuses, we have taken immediate instant corrective uh, step. And uh, we are extremely and genuinely sorry about that. And, but all such elements, uh, whether it is uh, Mukhtar Ansari or it is Ati Kamad, in the 22nd uh, tr tr uh, tr trust vote, uh, uh, you, you must have seen they have sided with Mayawati. And uh, uh, there is a spree of uh, inducting hoodlums and gundas in, uh, in her party. There is a drive. Uh, latest inclusion is uh, of Anna Maharaj. He has been uh, given a seat from uh, Unna. Mulayam Singh denied seats to him. He said that I want to uh, clean my party of such element so you don't have any place for nomination at least in our setup. Instantly after refusal, he switched over his loyalty and reportedly, allegedly has paid a huge sum of money. And the DP, no, other the infamously famous mafia don, yeah, who is involved right. in the, whose son is involved allegedly in murder of a, a bureaucrat's son. With, with the... 
Mr. Amar Singh, uh, the fact is corruption, bribery is across all party lines. Let me share a figure with the viewers. In Uttar Pradesh alone, 92 members of the current 403 member state assembly have police charges lodged against them. Mr. Salve, let me come across to you. What is the way forward? Is it the voter who brings the change? Is it the political parties or mm -hmm. is it both? What is really uh, any possible way out of this mess? Let me answer your, <clears throat> the second point first. The political parties have not only not going to bring change, they have opposed change. The two, basically people have lost the fear of the law, for which we need police reform. We need to delink the police from the politics and the politicians. And we need to speed up the justice delivery system. And politicians have overtly, openly opposed both. Yes. The Supreme Court directions to make the police autonomous have been opposed across the board by every political mm. party and every chief minister. Mm. So let's be clear, change has to come when the voter says, I swear I will not vote for a tainted politician. Mm. <laughs> and I will not vote for a party which has tainted politicians. Right. Unless we as voters do that, these gentlemen, they are no, all tarred no, no, by the same brush. It's a difference of degrees.